How many times you watch that tape? That's actually the first time I've seen no, not <laughs> that. No, not that one. How many oh. times did you watch that game? <laughs> the, the Wake Forest game? Yeah. Oh, I was like talking about the hot no, I know I that. Like, I I know. That's the first time we've all seen that you, one. You know, we, we we always watch it from a different perspective, so it's pretty yeah. cool to see those uh, those kind of plays made. But I watched it a couple of times, and, and uh, but you know in our world, uh, you got you got to put to bed quickly and, and move on to the next one. What did you learn about your football team, though? You know, I, I was really proud of, of the resiliency in the fourth quarter. You know, something that last year we do, we did not do a great job was finishing games. And, and to see these guys be down uh, 13 points in the fourth quarter and, and just not not stop believing and finding ways to go make plays, uh, really, really proud of, of, of how they, uh, in my opinion, uh, grew up. And to do it offensively, having to score, but then making the defensive That's play right. to win it and close it, right? I mean, it's a really ultimate complimentary win. That's right, especially in the fourth quarter. Yeah. And uh, coming off the third quarter where neither side of the ball uh, played well in the third and to come back and, and both uh, both groups uh, step up when they needed to uh, just shows the character of these young men. Look at that guy. It looks like he's playing out in the street, man. I mean, <laughs> a AC, the more I watch him, the more I love him. And the more I watch him, I go, oh, great play. Don't ever do that That's again, right. right? And we talked at the production meeting today mm -hmm. a little bit about what is that happy medium when you are addressing him where you don't coach the instincts and the natural – feel for the game out of him, but get him to make calculated risks as opposed to wholesale risks. Right. I think our job as coaches is to point out the opportunities to grow okay. uh, and then challenge the uh, the proper way and then, then put the ownership on the uh, on the young man, you know, to uh, to receive the information and apply it. And that's what you've seen. And I'm hoping that it's going to be less of the, uh, don't do that yeah. again, <laughs> uh, and more of, man, a, but that's what makes me special. Uh, the, the great quarterbacks that I've been around, they just had, you know, a moxie and it factor, a belief that mm -hmm. they can make every single play. Uh, but they also, you know, were, were humble enough to say, you know what, these are things that I got to improve in my game, and that's what you're seeing out of him. Yep. Coach, uh, you want to move forward, let's do that. Uh, mm -hmm. It's old school ACC rivalry game. Right. I mean, this is, for again, for us old guys, man, Virginia, <laughs> Maryland, I don't care what the sport was. Uh, there, there's a little something, something that's going right. on here. That's um, right. I, I'm sure they grabbed your attention. I know they're coming off a tough loss. But that makes them even more dangerous. Oh yeah, I mean, it's going back to last year. Uh, man, we came out swinging, and then they 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 finished it. They finished us off and ran off 42 straight points, and uh, we couldn't uh, we couldn't keep up. And uh, then watching them last week, man, it was a, it was a good four quarter game. It was back and forth. Uh, you know, all phases contributing to the game, a physical football game. Um, so I'm excited to to the opportunity to see how we match up. How did you feel you grew as a defensive football team through the first two weeks this year, heading into week three, especially when it comes to the, the, the front seven and being able to create more pressures, be more disruptive? Right. You know, an area where we were not very good last year was putting pressure on opposing yeah. quarterbacks. And, and, and with the four, four uh, senior guys coming back, uh, obviously the, the expectation is that you get pressure with four. But getting pressure with four is difficult. It's hard so to do. <laughs> you got to generate, you gotta generate, generate pressure other ways. And, and to see the linebackers and the safeties be able to contribute to the pass rush and, you know, a lot of it, too, is, is the offense we were going against, going against Wake with that slow match. The only way that you can really, you know, combat it is got to create one-on-ones, right? So you're going to have to bring five and see can you get those double teams pulled apart because if they can stay on their double teams, uh, they're going to push that yeah. line, and then backs are going to find uh, fine creases. You know, it seems like every year there's some guy catching footballs. You go, man, where would this guy come from? Uh, this Malachi Fields is having some kind of year. I, mean, right. I know it's only a snapshot of a couple <laughs> games, but – He's got the look. He's got the body. He's got great hands. He's obviously running great routes. He's got a great chemistry. Mm -hmm. uh, and you got to be thrilled with his performance. Yeah, so. super excited and, and proud of, uh, of Malachi. And he was a guy that, as a freshman here, you know, made some plays and then, then had injury. And uh, last year, he made a lot of plays. He's just overshadowed a little bit by uh, Malik because Malik was having a historic, uh, historic run. But uh, knowing with the group we had coming back, he was going to be the elder statesman. Uh, and again, into the boundary, you know, if, if you can have a dominant guy, it really helps you out offensively. And, you know, what he's doing is he's playing this size. He's a big 6'4", 225 pounds, and he's got unbelievable catch radius. But you're seeing that he's breaking tackles, right, and he's running after the catch. Got a Julio Jones type feel mm -hmm. to him in terms right. of his physical attributes. Mm -hmm. So you've got you've got eight, you've got eleven, you got four, mm -hmm. you got some skill guys. But the the transfer portal I think really helped you out at the tight end position. It did. Sixteen has brought something there right. that maybe you didn't have a year ago. Yeah. So sixteen and zero. Yeah. Uh, Sage coming over and and. It just helps us in the run game, yeah. uh, but but more importantly, we can we can be more flexible and, and stay in eleven personnel and spread you out. And, yeah. and when you have a matchup advantage into the boundary in the slot, uh, it just really helps uh, helps the defense have to make decisions, which gives us the opportunity to see what we have available yeah. for us. Tony, um, we've been bragging about how beautiful this place <laughs> is. It's obviously an incredible academic institution, and you get a sense that folks are just waiting, right? right. They're just waiting for hey, give me something good, and we're coming. 
Uh, the importance of this game tomorrow, I know it's got nothing to do with the ACC race, but a 3-0 and start for the first time since 2019. Stuff that you've been talking about in sure. all the offseason. Uh, hey, guess what? We're, we're coming, we're coming, we're coming. Winning close games, which was a bugaboo last year. You already get one against Wake Forest. I'm not going to say all chips are in tomorrow, right. but the momentum of this program. Uh, and I know you've talked about that with recruiting and everything else. And it's a fan base that's ready to win. Yes, and I think it, it starts with uh, this staff. Uh, we got to do a better job of defending Scott Stadium. Uh, that's that's really what's the, the the most important thing to me. This is our home turf. Uh, we have an unbelievable uh, fan base. Uh, it should be one of the best venues uh, in the country uh, to to come be a part of, and one of the hardest places for opposing teams to play. But like you said, we have to do our part. Uh, so I'm excited about the opportunity, right, for us to go out and 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 hopefully this will be the group that says, you know what, we're going to take that next step and we're going to make it a uh, home field advantage for uh, for the Cavaliers whenever we play in Scott Stadium. Coach, as a program, you're beyond now the mm -hmm. pandemic. You've got the brand-new football operations facility. You're showing progress. Um, I mean, there's a lot of positives here. Right. What, what excites you most about where you think this thing could go? Oh, man. Uh, I, I came in day one believing that this could we could build a model program okay. uh, because you have an unbelievable – uh, academic, you know, reputation sure. and institution here, and you're playing in the ACC, uh, what I believe is the best conference in college football, and uh, and an opportunity to introduce new facilities, upgrade the stadium. Mm -hmm. uh, you got a very, very fertile uh, recruiting base. Uh, so for me, uh, the vision is big to create the model. Uh, and and again, we're getting ready to transition into a new era uh, next year in college football. Things are going to change, uh, but at the end of the day, to me, it's still about. Uh, the scholastic piece of it and developing young men. And I think we have an opportunity, right, to build the model because of the excellence and prestige associated with the institution. Uh, we can do the same thing in football. Yeah. And we can do it at the high level. And not many people are going to be able to say that they can do it uh, at a high level on both ends. Tony, we were in Clemson last mm -hmm. week. Obviously, you spent a lot of quality time there. And I remember doing a show about this time when we saw Dabo and the guys in the bus heading over to the Electric City. Uh, what does Virginia do the night before a game? we got a primetime game tomorrow night, so That's what's right. the schedule tonight and then what you do in the morning? So we just finished up uh, our walkthrough uh, for, for the day, and so now the guys are going back to the uh, facility. They'll change, and, and we, uh, we travel in coat and tie. It's a business trip, so they'll get – uh, they'll, they'll put their best, uh, their Sunday best on, and, and look really good as we get on the bus. We'll go over to the it's hotel. It's kind of like Luganville when he does yeah. the show. Yeah, that's, right. <laughs> that's exactly pretty much. Yeah. yeah. So, so then we'll go to the hotel. We'll have dinner, and then we'll go catch a movie. I what are you seeing? We're seeing Twister, the remake of Twister. Oh yeah, Twisters. Yep. Yeah, all right. So we'll yeah. watch. That's we'll Taylor watch. Tanner. I saw it. It's favorite good. Movie. Okay. Yeah, okay. Taylor loves that movie. It actually is really good. It's really good. So yeah. I'm looking forward to that, and then we'll have a quick meeting before we go to bed, and then tomorrow we'll get up and have some meetings and some downtime before we come back over to the stadium. Ever take a sneak? I mean, if you got an 8 o'clock game, you ever take a sneak what's going on around the country, or are you just so dialed in you don't even know what's going to, on? To be honest with you, I, I, I don't, and, and I challenge the guys not to, and, and, and I learned this uh, from, from Coach Sweeney, and, and you, you don't realize it, but you could easily exert a lot of energy in somebody else's game if you get caught up mm -hmm. in, the, in a game. So, so what I do is, is, is I read my tips and my reminders. I read the good book a little bit, and then I take a nap. Uh, because, again, I want to be at my best, and I don't want to give away uh, energy. Uh, no offense to anybody else, but I don't want to give away energy to anybody else's game. I want to be, you know, fully locked in for ours. Well, listen, we appreciate you making time for us no, today. And, guys. again, uh, just yeah. a stunningly beautiful place. And uh, like I've said already a dozen times, academically it's as good as it gets. And, um, and you got a special place here, man. We do. Yeah. And the food's really good, too. Oh, so, yes, it so is. So tonight, you guys need to yeah. go out. And, well, Dana's uh, got us all taken oh, care of. Okay. You know, Virginia guy. All right. Virginia I like girl. it. We're take I care like of the that. whole crew on that. Yeah. Wish you nothing we but success. You're yeah. the good people. Appreciate right. you, man. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. Yes, sir. Always a pleasure. You. Yes, sir.